The table below gives values of the function g of x for selected values of x. So x, you have 0, 2, 4, so those go up by 2 every time, so equal length input value intervals. Uh, and g of x is, I don't know, it's a mess. But what we do know is it's quadratic. So what is the value of g of 8? Well, let's see what we could do here. If it's quadratic, okay, we should be able to find the, the rate of change of the rate of change. I put my arrow backwards. Let's try that again. So if it was linear, we would test this average rate of change by doing this guy right here. So to get from negative 5 to negative 1, you add 4. And to get from negative 1 to 0, you add 1. So which means the quadratic, the average rate of change, is going to change by subtracting 3 every time. Okay, so my job is to find out what happens at g of 8. So let's add two more spaces to this, 6 and 8. Okay, now what's happening again is I'm going to go backwards here. This guy is going to be minus 3. This guy is going to be minus 3. All right, so that would make you going from 1 minus 3 is going to be negative 2. And you, and that would be from, from 0 to 6. So let me change that make it look a little bit better, negative 2. And in order to subtract 3 again, you would be a change of negative 5. So 0 minus 2 is going to be uh, negative 2. I can handle that. And uh, negative 2 minus 5 is negative 7. Therefore, making our guy negative 7. Okay, so we kind of did backwardsy looking stuff. And that's how you do it. Fun stuff. Happy times.